I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you ain't. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. My name is Muhammad Numan. How are you, my dear students? I hope you will be fine. Welcome to Advanced English Grammar. Today we would like to talk about a very useful word and that is keep. How we will use the word keep correctly? First we have to talk about the function of this word. We use the word keep whenever we are talking about those actions which are done regularly or repeatedly. We use this word for that purpose. Whenever we are talking about the continuation of something, we use this word. Now let's talk about the structure of this word. Keep plus fourth form of the verb. Whenever we are adding ing with the best form of the verb, Whenever we add ing with the best form of the verb, that will be called the fourth form of the verb. Okay? So it means whenever in the sentence keep comes, the word keep comes, we have to put over there the fourth form of the verb after that. <clears throat> First, we have to talk about the possession of this. For example, I like this marker. I like this marker. Can I keep it? I, it means I want to continue it for a long time. I will have it for a long time. I want to keep this marker with myself. I use there this word. Now let's talk about the other uses which are used in the different sentences. In different tenses they are used in. Let's talk about these sentences. For example, Ali keeps on studying. It means continue to have. Continue for a long time. Ali keeps the Simple sentence, simple and definite, indefinite uh, sentences. Ali keeps on studying. Remember this point. <coughs> you can put on with this sentence. It depends on you, either you want or not. Ali keeps studying. This is also okay. This is also correct. Okay. This is the structure of the present indefinite uh, tense. I keep on studying. In the first sample, I kept thinking. Now you can see, kept thinking, the fourth form of the verb came after this word. <laughs> I kept thinking about you yesterday. Another sentence, Kamran will keep, the future sentence, Kamran will keep going on, going there. This is the uh, future indefinite uh, tense. <coughs> now, let's talk about uh, the present for fact. He has kept coming here with the singular verbs we use has and with the plurals we use have they have kept writing and the future for fact tense how will be the structure he will have kept going there so keep is used in all the uh, tenses except the present continuous the past continuous, the past perfect continuous, future continuous, and future perfect continuous. They will not be used over there in those sentences. Right? <coughs> this is the
this structure will not be used over there keep in your mind so we learned about this whenever to con whenever we use we use this word whenever we continue to have something whenever we use uh, we use this word whenever we are talking about to continue up, to possess something we use the structure now let's talk about some expressions are here keep on carry on and go on first let me tell you about these uh, words all these three words they are used interchangeably you can use okay for example they kept on loading the luggage they went on loading the luggage they went they carried on loading the luggage all these sentences all these words they are used interchangeably as you saw here <coughs> okay at the end I would like to talk about <clears throat> keeping in view in the light of keeping in mind keeping in view take into account we also use these words interchangeably it means uh, to pay full attention to something to see something very strictly to watch something very strictly to key or to uh, uh, <coughs> take interest in something we use there these expressions these are also used interchangeably for example in the light of keeping in mind keeping in view take into account keeping your status in mind do anything <coughs> you can also say keeping your status in view do anything so we use these words and taking into account do taking your uh, taking into account taking uh, your status into account do anything right we use these words and in the light of your status do anything all these words they are used interchangeably they are very important words uh, in the, which are used mostly in spoken English so pay full attention to these sentences practice on these sentences do much exercise on these words after that it will be learned so it was our today class to, uh, about the word keep which was very important Again, I would like to say uh, we use the word keep whenever we are talking about uh, the continuation of something. When uh, we do something regularly, repeatedly, we use over there this word. Uh, at the end, I would like to talk about my YouTube channel. The uh, name of my YouTube channel is Spread the Useful Knowledge. I share these videos to your friends or relatives through WhatsApp, Messenger, and Facebook. That would be very kind of you. Thanks a lot of you. Thanks a bundle.